Sergeant Nicholas Jose Palmero. I'm from uh, Roanoke, Virginia, and I'm a landing support specialist. We're supporting the Squadron 366 with a helicopter support team, or HST for short, prior to the uh, aircraft arriving, curing the load as well as the LZ, and then attaching the slings and tying anything up in terms of rigging the load itself. Putting this HST together, our biggest problem was like trying to find the steering locks and devices that will lock the BB into place to make sure it's not moving while in the air. So we had them manufactured and certified by the Norwegians, and every single lift that we did, uh, they held. I'm the range safety officer for this HST. So my job mainly consists of making sure all the crew, the team, and everyone on board the site is safe, make sure all the procedures are followed, safety is paramount, and my job is to make sure everything goes smoothly, the job's done correctly, and no casualties or no one's injured during the operation. Besides myself being the range safety officer, there's also the team lead that's in charge of the Marines actual under the bird. He's also job to make sure everything's hooking up right, and Marine safety is also number one. And you have the static man. His job is to ground out the electricity produced from the bird. And then the hook man is to make sure the actual load itself gets connected to the bird. It was uncharted territory for all of us. Planning this HST was something that hasn't been done in a long time from what the, uh, the Marines can remember. We were really uh, working off of some some pictures that the Brits have done before, maybe the Dutch, but for us it was uncharted territory. So a unique opportunity for us to get creative, come up with a creative solution and a few different ways to go about it. While, while playing the HST, we had a, a few different ideas. One was lifting the, the BV from the tow hitches on the front and the rear of the vehicle and on, on the cabs. Um, the other idea was how we ended up lifting it today using the eye bolts. I think either way would have worked. They both would have gotten the job done. And today we went the way closer to the, uh, the technical manual, how it's built to be done, and we had a great success.